So over the last week, I've been showcasing some images for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. And this image is no different of why I want to showcase it. This one's a little smaller, uh, 128 gigabytes. And now a 128 gigabyte SD card is $20 or less, thus unlocking a true affordable retro gaming experience. Now, this one has a little bit of, some people like it, some people don't. The reason they don't like it is the original image was built in Portuguese. So if you see up in the upper left corner right now, it says select the systems in a different language. Um, if you go into some of the systems, you notice, hey, it's English here on the left, but if you go to other systems, you'll notice that, okay, that's English. There's certain systems where, it, there you go, we just saw one right there, where um, you'll still see some Portuguese here and there in the menu. However, the games themselves are all here. The ROMs are all here. The releases will tell you whether they're, you know, Portuguese releases or US releases or UK releases, and the language will all be in the relative uh, region in which they were originally released. So that's why I don't mind this at all, because uh, this is a really great recall box image. As you see, the theme is amazing. It th this thing is packing like 20,000 games. It's ridiculous how many games are, are honestly on this thing. And you have all your systems, and uh, it's 128 gigabytes. It's, it's no frills, just packed with games. And uh, that's why I like this. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So on first boot, you will have to change the language, and uh, I did turn off the background music so I wouldn't, um, you know, get any copyright strikes. But it has, you know, some Street Fighter uh, music playing. You can uh, easily hit start on your controller here, and you have all sorts of, uh, you know, options as far as overclocking and advanced settings. You can even, which if you want to play Dreamcast or Nintendo 64, you actually might get uh, quite a bit uh, of performance going a little higher here high or turbo even. I wouldn't necessarily go extreme unless you have a really good case. So starting with Amiga, Amiga CD, you have 10 games. Amstrad CPC, 357. Atari 2600, 644. 5200, 73. 7800, 64. Cave Story, now that game is in Portuguese, so that's a disappointment there, but it's still a great game. Uh, uh, Coley Cope, 155. Dreamcast, you get 24 games, and they actually run really good. Uh, Capcom, you got 131, that's your CPS 1, 2, and 3 systems. Family Computer Disk System, 232. Game Gear, 263. Game Boy, 491. It's pretty much all of them. Game Boy Advance, now this is a ton of games right here because there's only about 1,050 in the U.S. region. But you notice here they have 650 Japanese titles and 155 Portuguese titles on top of all the other titles. And I think there's even some hacks in there as well. Same thing with Game Boy, you'll head over here. Okay, no, that one doesn't have it. Maybe Game Boy Color does. No, it doesn't, but you'll see in a second some other systems do. 547 on Game Boy Color, Game & Watch 53, and Television 159, Lutro, you got nine, Atari Lynx 76, MAME. So here's where you have your first you know, file structure here. These are all the different publishers, and you could pick your publisher, or if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of all these folders, or you can hit start on your controller, you can start getting into the actual games in this directory. But uh, easily enough, you could just hit start, go to like L here, and then then you go down to L. Or if you want, you can just, um, you know, use the folder system if you want. So let's go back there. But main, we got over 1,900 games. Sega Master System 492. So here's one that also has the Mark III system and the Tech Toy system as well in a folder. Second Mega Drive, 1380. So here's what I was t trying to get to earlier. As you see here, within the Second Mega Drive, you have your, uh, your Japanese games, Mega Drive, the logo that's being shown right now. You have the Portuguese ones with the logo being shown right now, and then the hacks, and then you have your actual uh, games. Um, so that's pretty cool that there's so many, uh, pretty girl. Okay. Be careful with some of this stuff. Um, the, uh, the, uh, the hacks, you know, there's going to be some duplicates and things like that, but, um, plants for zombies, like there's a lot of little cool games thrown on here. And that's actually one of the reasons why I like this image so much is it's kind of just like the whole kitchen sink. And, uh, I mean, if you're going to lean into the whole kitchen sink, lean into it hard. And that's what he did. And, uh, that's why I think it's pretty cool. So NSX Turbo, 
five six six fifty nine. Let me just go in there really quick. Okay, Nintendo sixty four. This also has some hacks. Two fifty five. It doesn't have all the games, but it has about twenty hacks on there. If you're wondering what kind of hacks it has, there you go. But it has all the you know Nintendo sixty four games that run fairly well, and this thing's set up pretty well. I overclocked it. You're gonna see some gameplay in a moment. And uh, I was playing some Mario Kart. It looks it looks good. I mean, it's not on a high resolution. Like you can absolutely increase the resolution, make it resolution, make it look a little bit better. But um, you know, it's running really good on an overclock with this particular system. So you get some Neo Geo hacks. That's cool. A lot of people don't include those. It's cool to like check those out. Neo Geo CD. You got about five or six there. NES. You're gonna see thousands and thousands. Yeah, two thousand two hundred twenty-eight. And that's because you have Dy Dynavision in here. You have your your Brazilian games, and then you have 700 hacks. Look at these. And again, you can just hit, you know, look at the Arkanoid. You have, I don't know why there's so many in there. I wonder if they're actually different. I don't know. Um, so, Kitchen Sink, yes, yes, it is. Now, this isn't a folder, you know, it's back here in hacks. You have to get to it. So, it doesn't bother me so much. It's not in the main menu. This main menu is still plenty, you know, fine. You can still get to where you need to go fairly easily without. You know getting stuck in the mud so you know that's you know i don't mind it because of that so neo geo pockets nine games neo geo pocket color 82 odyssey 2 116 pc engine 290 pc engine cd rom 22 doom games what do we got we got doom the ultimate doom doom 2 doom plutonia and doom tnt and looks like a uh brazilian doom portuguese version of the doom i wonder if the sound effects are in portuguese uh, moving along, you have PSP. Uh, what I did have to do to get PSP to work, just so you know, I'm going to be place. I'm going to play some Metal Slug later in the video, and uh, what I had to do is go over here to uh, Advanced Settings, Advanced Emulator Configuration, go down to PSP, and this is where you can change a lot of these emulator depending on what system you want to play. Like I was telling you earlier about um, Nintendo 64. Anyways, I turned Smooth Games off. When it was on, it wouldn't boot, and I think that has to do with you know the config. Uh, file and, and it, it crashing so you might be able to get yours to work I had to turn mine off so if you can't get PSP to work you might want to give that a shot uh, but with that said there's your games here a few a few good ones and there's even a little folder up here with PSP minis 321 super crash these are all actually pretty fun mini games that run really well on the Raspberry Pi so that was PSP minis and PSP um, a total of 22 eight of those being PSP minis PlayStation 110 games now not a huge collection since we're starting in C, we'll finish in C, but um, PlayStation runs at 100% speed on this system. Uh, you know, I'm sure someone's going to find a reason why this game list is missing us a game or two, but uh, you can easily hook this thing to your network or put a th USB thumb drive in here and add on to these 100 games if that's what your prerogative is. You can even put this on a um, 256 gigabyte SD card, thus allowing you to add a lot more games. So uh, this is kind of weird that the Satellaview, I, I would think you might want to put that with, with SNES, maybe if you're going for like a cleaner system, but whatever, it's all good. Uh, you have 63 games there. Scum VM, you got 10. This is where it's a CBR. So these are all garbage if you don't speak uh, Portuguese or unless you want to learn Portuguese because uh, the language here is going to be uh, in another language. You might be able to turn on subtitles. Don't take my word for it. I just don't even like... I just don't even worry about it. I just kind of skip over that myself, but it's up to you. Sega 32X, 37. Sega CD, 36. Uh, Sega SG, 1068. Some people might want to see what's in the Sega CD since there's quite a few. But uh, is there Terminator? Yes. Is there Sonic CD? Yes. And the Japanese version as well. Um, NBA Jam. Mickey Mania. It's pretty good games in here. Probably missed a few though, right? All right. Um, SG 1068, Super Nintendo 1300. And this is what I was telling you about because, like, Super Famicom's in here, the hack games are in here, the Portuguese games are in here. Now, um, I'll get to your criticisms a little later in this video. Turbo, you got like 14 games. What was that? Yeah, Super Graphics, you got five. Vetrex, you have 71. Virtual Boy, you have 26. Wonder Swan, 112. Wonder Swan Color, 91. And then finally, his favorites. A cool little place to see what he threw in on here and a lot of these games are really awesome i have to 100 percent agree with like 90 percent of these games i really dig them i feel over like brothers from another mother over here 
but uh, some, I mean, these are all, you know, mainstream titles, obviously, but a lot of fun. Like the Ninja Turtle arcade games, love them. King of Fighters, Simpsons arcade game, love it. Ultimate MK3, my favorite Mortal Kombat, love it. X-Men arcade game, love it. Zombies Ate My Never Neighbors, love it. And I played the SNES version too. I know a lot of some people like the Sega version. So that's it on this image. Let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay. So final thoughts, this is one of my favorite plug and play images. And if you've been following the last couple videos I've been making, I started off with the 400 gigabyte virtual man. I then did the 400 gigabyte dar zone and I'm finishing this series off with a 128 gigabyte uh, recall box build from Galistio. And although he's Portuguese and although, you know, a lot of people don't like that, um, let me just do the pros and the cons. The pros, it's it's plug and play ready, changing that system menu and, and turning off the background music, you know, changing the language in the back, you know, easy, easy to do. And 90% of these games, 90, 95% of them are going to be good to go. Uh, for those people that, um, you know, didn't, don't like it, it's because, you know, like I said, some of these are, some of these, you know, and, and it's not the perfect image too, you know, like some, some of these are in different languages, like here you go, like the Tamagotchi. Um, but uh, also some of them are missing artwork and things like that. It's not, but it's, it's like 95% there and it's a kitchen sink. It's got everything. And uh, you know, if you, but let's just go through the cons, you know, really quick, which is 
the um, you know you might not like the particular games that are being uh, you know on here, especially with PlayStation and Dreamcast. So that might be a bummer for some people. You know, Cave Story and the Scum DM games are in Portuguese, so you're not really going to um, use those unless you speak Portuguese. There's no reason why you'd want to play those games. Is really unless you want to learn Portuguese, but that kind of throws some people off. Following the whole thing with Portuguese, like I said, some of this artwork and metadata is in Portuguese, which some bummed some people out. Um, but back to the pros, I love this theme. Look at this. You could scroll so fast, so hard, it won't even hiccup. And uh, that's pretty cool that, um, you know, there's very minimal lag, super easy to overclock. And so when it really comes down to the plug and play, how many times can I say plug and play in this, in this video? Um, you know, I dig it. And then the 128 being 128 gigabyte SD card being under $20 right now, and then the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, you could buy used ones for under $35, is fantastic. So uh, to play 20,000 games over 20 systems for under uh, you know $100 with wireless controllers, you get pretty bling. You get a pretty blingy setup, you know, as far as controllers and things like that. On top of this, a nice case. I mean, I, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, am I crazy? Call me crazy, but I think that's awesome. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.